bisectors. We have different types of bisectors. The first one we're going to talk about is perpendicular bisectors. For the perpendicular bisector, we're talking about two words there, being perpendicular, meaning two seg segments or lines that cross at 90 degree angles, and the word bisector, which means to cut into two congruent pieces. When we talk about points on the perpendicular bisector, we are talking about points that will appear on the line that is bisecting the other line segment. Here we have a statement. If a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then we have a condition. Here we have a picture of what this is stating. We have the point A, which is on the perpendicular bisector. The green line is bisecting line segment CB. So it is the perpendicular bisector of CB. Notice the distance from A to C and the distance from A to B as I move point A up and down on the bisector. Whenever I stop it, the distance from A to C is always equal to the distance of A to B. So to finish the statement, if a point is on the midpoint, if a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of the segment or equal distance. Notice how the picture has changed. We have the two congruency marks on the red, se red segments and the two congruency marks on the other red segment and then the two green pieces are cut into two equal pieces. Another statement about perpendicular bisectors. If a point is equal distant from the endpoints of the segment, then it, it is on the perpendicular bisector. This would be the converse of the statement we just made. Looking at this from a demonstration or from a picture, we have point A. Point A is equal distant from C and an equal distance from B. If I move A up or down, notice how that distance always stays the same. The reason that is, is because A is located on the perpendicular bisector, the red segment. Since A is on the perpendicular bisector, it must be equal distance from the two sides. Our statement is, if a point is equidistant from the endpoints of a segment, then it is on the perpendicular bisector of the segment. Next we have points on angle bisectors. An angle bisector is simply a segment, array, or a line which bisects an angle. Here is a picture of an angle bisector. The lighter green line which is in the in between the angle or is included inside of the angle, we have point A. That green line is bisecting the angle. So what we have now is the distance from A to either side of the angle is always the same. Notice how the distance that's being measured from A to BD meets it at a perpendicular because that's how we measure distance and from A to BC also meets at a perpendicular because that is how we measure distance. No matter where I go with point A, the distance between A to BD and the distance from A to BC always remains the same. That is our next statement. If a point is, is on an angle bisector, then it is equidistant from the sides of the angle. Notice how we are creating these congruent triangles. These two triangles that look exactly the same size. Now we could do the converse of that. If a point is equidistant 
from the sides of an angle than it is on the angle bisector. This is the converse to the last one. The last one said, if it's on the angle bisector, then it is equidistant from the sides. Now we're saying if it is equidistant from the sides, then it is on the bisector. Looking at this from a picture, if I knew, move point A, notice how that distance is always staying exactly the same. The reason is, is because A is on that perpendicular, excuse me, the angle bisector. If a point is on equidistant from the sides of an angle, then it's on the angle bisector. Now let's try and use this information to solve a question. The picture itself here looks a little bit confusing. We just need to take a moment to take and dissect it apart to figure out the pieces. We are given that L, M, and N are perpendicular bisectors. That means this line L bisects this side. This piece is equal to this piece. We are also told that M is a perpendicular bisector, which cuts this side in half, and N, which is this one over here. So all of these sides of the, of the triangle are being in half. So what we can do here is we'll start with the first piece. We know that L is bisecting PR, which means these two pieces are equal. So I can say z plus 4 equals 7. Minusing the 4, I get z equals 3. We'll note that up here. And then I'm going to need to erase some of the information. Next, an important thing to know that since we have all of these bisectors meeting at this center point, we know that all of these pieces, the green segment, the red segment, and the purple segment are equal. What we can do is we can set 2x equal to 8 because the red segment and the purple segment are the same size. And we can put the green also equal to the purple. We now have y, we have x, and we have z. We now have the lengths of all three segments. If you had any questions on any part of today's lesson, Make sure to note that and ask me questions when you get back to class. See ya.